Hi, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss uh, introduction to maximum and minimum values when you're dealing with uh, just any random function. Basically, uh, I'm gonna go over first, uh, basically a brief overview view of absolute maximum minimums and also local maximum and minimums. In later videos, I'll go over some examples to help illustrate this. So basically, then absolute maximum is also referred to as a global maximum or minimum for uh, the steps of max and min. And they're also called extreme value. And basically it, the definition is if you have f of c, where c is just, just an, any random x value inside domain. So if you have f of c, which is greater than f of x for all x values in domain of f, then basically, so if it's greater than all than any other value, then it's basically called the maximum value or absolute maximum or global maximum. And similarly, if you have it, if f, of, if f of c is less than or equal to f of x for all x values in uh, basically the domain of f, then f of c is the minimum value that of f is the minimum possible value or the absolute minimum or the global minimum. So now when you're dealing with local maximum and minimums, this is basically similar to one above except you're dealing with relative max and minimum, so this is also referred to as relative max and min. Definition is basically f of c is greater than f of x when x is near c. So basically anywhere close to c, if you could see that it's locally uh, the, the max, and it's called a local max, so f of c is, is a local maximum. And similarly, if you have f of c is less than or equal to f of x when x is near c, then basically f of c is a local minimum and also one final note is that the endpoints are not considered local max and min so now just to illustrate this whole concept i'll just just draw it out yeah so here if we draw it out in this x and y axis right here just just draw a random uh, function let's say like this so this will go up like this it'll go down like this and let's say it would go down again and again goes up forever so, yeah, so it's going up forever, and we'll just call this f of x right here. So now to illustrate the local max and absolute max minimums, well, basically, if we look at this, um, in this, the first one, the absolute maximum, there is no absolute maximum, because as you can see, it keeps going higher and higher, so there is no absolute maximum, there is no high point, we could say this is the highest, uh, etc. So now when we look at, uh, basically, the uh, absolute minimum, we can actually find it. This is just over this point. So the smallest value that f of x can be is right over here. So then let's say if this is some random c value, we'll call it f of c. Then this at this point, not f of c, f of c, I mean this is c, this would be let's say f of c right here. So that's f of c. So basically this is the low, the absolute minimum right here. Yeah, so basically that, I'll just write that down, absolute minimum. So now when we look at local values, this is basically uh, looking at, so you have to look at an interval near, let's say, the C value, or, or let's call this one here, C2. So as you can see, these this is a local uh, maximum right here, and the reason is anywhere near this point, it's this, this value here is always greater than anywhere near it. And here if I draw with a red pen right here, let's just say anywhere near it is somewhere like this. We'll just draw a box this, to get the domain involved in here. So as you can see, when we make a box like this, so anywhere near this C value or C2 value, this is always greater than any of these values. But then if you look at the end point right here, we can't say this is a local minimum. or We can't say this one is a local minimum because the notice endpoints are not local max or min. So this one, this point would be... And then also when we look at, let's say, this this range right here. So this is a local max. I'll just write this down. So this is local max. And then this part right here, this is a local minimum because basically anywhere close by in this domain, is ba this, this value here is, is always less than it. And this is a local minimum. Yeah, so that's a local minimum. And then finally, this part right here is also a, a local minimum. So, so basically, if you have an absolute min or an absolute max, they're always going to be a local min as well, or a local min or max as well, because as you can see, anywhere near this point, it's going to be less than it. In fact, this is less than throughout the whole domain. This is the smallest. So this is local max, 
I mean, this is local min, absolute minimum, etc. So anyways, that's all for today. I'll go over some examples in later videos, so uh, stay tuned for that. And this is all for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, remember, you could always download these notes in the link below. And uh, stay tuned for another math easy solution.